Everyone seems to be looking for inspiration, but most people don't know what it is or where it comes from. Oftentimes, inspiration is depicted with a light bulb, but where does the light come from? And maybe the better question is, when does the light go out? In the grand scheme of things, we know that the light goes out when we stop breathing. And the same is true for inspiration, because inspiration is breath. Welcome to the vibration of inspiration is breath by guided inspirations. It is the life force. It is what keeps us going. And with all of this in consideration, it is no wonder that the word inspire just means to breathe in. Now let's take a moment to breathe and fill ourselves with inspiration. The root to breath is spire. Spire is also an inspiration as well as it is in spirit. So breath, breath work, the power, the gift of breath actually helps us connect to the spirit. For many years I worked with young actors and one of their jobs was to memorize their lines. And the biggest lesson that every child had to learn was if you stop breathing, you cannot remember what comes next. And when you're in that moment of panic and you freeze, the most important thing that you need to do to bring back the inspiration to continue is that you must take a breath. And because we know that thought happens in the mind and we understand that the mind or the brain needs blood flow to function, we must understand that blood flow carries oxygen. Therefore, when we breathe, we carry our blood flow to our center of thought and concentration, and we continue that flow of breath in order to continue the flow of thought, and therefore we continue our inspiration. So when we feel uninspired, this is actually just an invitation for breath, an invitation to renew our life force, an invitation to take a deep breath and focus on what comes rather than trying to pull in inspiration from a place of holding. I can definitely relate to that, you know what I'm saying? And from a creator's perspective, you know, as, as being an artist, I've had times where I'm at the microphone and I'm recording the record, and I realize that I'm missing certain aspects of delivery, certain aspects of pronunciation, certain aspects of feeling, you know, as I listen to the playback, you know, and I'm realizing that obviously it's all in my breath. And in return, it made that process challenging. I had to master breath work. And at that time, I started to figure out the times that I needed to take my breath to be able to actually execute the style that I was trying to execute. We breathe subconsciously. So the key is actually to breathe with intention. Now when I record, I'm able to deliver and execute that record to the highest capacity, to its highest level of greatness because I understand the breath work and the power of the breath that is needed for me to connect with that next level of inspiration to execute that record. Breath is essential in meditation and meditation is a thought exercise. And it is not just about clearing out our thoughts, but rather allowing our thoughts to come in as easily as breath does. Every breath is a reminder of our life force, that we still have the ability to continue forward on our journey. Therefore, if breath and inspiration are essential to our being and our purpose, and this is why meditation becomes so essential when finding one's purpose. One's purpose cannot be located without breath because without breath, there is no life. Take a deep breath right now and appreciate the gift of life. Right now, the breath is inspiring every part of your body to flow as one. Long as you're alive, you are breathing. So why not turn everything that you do in life into a meditation. When we desire forward movement in life, we must remember that breath is essential. You cannot go for a run without breathing. You cannot swim a lap without taking breath. So if you intend to go forward, if you intend to create, 
You must focus first on how you breathe and how easefully that breath is attained and maintained. Which brings me to the tree of life. Because human beings are trees in reverse. We are trees that move, that must reroot every time we move and we must breathe. We must take in oxygen and release carbon dioxide. Just like trees take in carbon dioxide and release oxygen for us. We are in a symbiotic relationship. We mirror one another. But when we do root work, it is our breath that grounds us. When we do creative work, it is our breath that inspires us. And more than just breathing to think, we must breathe to listen. We must breathe to absorb. We must take in to release out. You don't have to be depressed. You don't have to be angry. You don't have to be sick. You know, sickness comes from trauma in the body. And breath is the reliever of that energy. Breath holds the energy of inspiration and transformation. So if you're on a quest to find inspiration, first, focus on your breath and see what comes in. Allow thought just as you allow breath. Connect the circuitry which turns on your light. Vibration.